ladies and gentlemen, is Zatti, is VPN, Bubba's Mark, is Barbara Bridge, our press club, all good! Well, it's the traditional curtain raiser of pre-season as football returns for Preston North End this afternoon. We're at the Sir Tom Finney Stadium for this short trip to Bamber Bridge. It's the first visit here in three years thanks to Covid and last year's torrential rain. And there's new faces on show as well. Ryan Lowe has moved quickly in the transfer window to sign up two goalkeepers. And we will see a debut for Freddie Woodman and Di Cornell today. The arrival of Woodman particularly has got fans excited. A man with championship experience and a promotion on his CV as well. He'll be hoping to do it again with North End. But it's all about fitness at this stage of the summer and not picking up injuries. p &E will hope to start their summer off well and set down a marker for things to come in the season ahead. It's only been 56 days since the final day of uh, last season. This summer break is shorter than usual, of course, because of the World Cup in November and the mid-season break that we'll have then, which will be a little unusual. Here's Reese now. North End looking to take the lead here. Reese with his head up looking for options and trying oh. to bend it in himself. And it wasn't far away from last season's top scorer. Yeah, brilliant from Emil Rees, you know, twisting and turning the box. Another ball back to Woodman, who hasn't really had a save to make in this uh, first no, half. It's been comfortable. To be fair, there's been no chance, suddenly it's all been in the middle of the pitch. Colton again. It's Greg Cunningham tries to get involved and here's Reese now the Dane is stepping forward and flicking it in field too can he find the finish takes a deflection for O'Neill and it's off the crossbar and Mwede looking to hook it back forward sees it drop wide of the post well the two youngsters very clearly desperate for a goal there but uh, it all came from Emil Reese's excellent work yeah great work from Emil Reese. I've actually thought we were going to pass it out first but you know once he gets in a side goal he's never going to do that and then when it comes back, you know, you just expect Michael O'Neill to just put that in. Gets great contact on it too. Well, if if anything, rattles across bar, comes back and young normal when he just gets underneath it. Best piece of play of the match so far. Another half a chance here for the non-league side. And Big might chance. Be able to take the lead here. The uh, ball. Should have been put in the middle, really, but instead it went for the near post. Pots again. No one in. Looking to open it up for Colton this time. Punched away by the goalkeeper at the near post to safety as well. Good save from the keeper. There's Greg Cunningham turns it in to Ledson this time. Daniel Johnson who crosses in, looking for Mwede, and the header goes just wide. Brilliant ball in and a great chance for the teenager. Bauer. Cunningham trying to find Reese. North End would love to take the lead before half time. Emil Reese has got three in the middle here to aim for. The ball picks out Potts. Here's Daniel Johnson. And now Ryan Ledson. No one able to shoot here at the moment. Johnson goes for it this time, but curls it just wide. Lovely play between them two, though. Daniel Johnson just mutters up a little one-two and just can't bend it into that far corner. Josh Siri is another 17-year-old defender who is very highly rated indeed, and he's on the ball here, laying it off towards uh, Bennett, who sees Ola Sunday arriving, Ola Sunday staying on his feet, but not able to keep the ball with him. And Whiteman keeps hold of it too. Here's Colton. Whiteman feeds 
Hughes. And here's Woodburn, who finds Hughes again, just trying to step forward yeah, as definitely. he goes down and wins a penalty. And the referee has no hesitation in pointing to the spot. The Pumperbridge players aren't happy with it. It's one of them, I mean, it's a soft one, but, you know, Andrew Hughes does what he does really, really well, you know, from that left-hand side, centre-back position, likes that underlap, gets in, and he knows the defender's going to make the challenge and just stand still. Whiteman with the penalty, and he scores! He makes no mistake from the spot. And despite the unhappy Bamber Bridge players, it is North End who celebrate their first goal of pre-season. Bon Woodburn is 22. He's the third youngest player to ever play for Liverpool when he made his debut. He also broke Michael Owen's record to be the club's youngest ever goal scorer when he burst onto the scene. He's also Wales' his second youngest ever goal scorer behind a certain Gareth Bale. It all happened for him very early, didn't it, as a as a teenager? You know, his pedigree's as good as you can get. You just read up the stats that he's done in his early days of his career as a youngster. It's great he's play. It now. Looking for a second goal, and there he and there is. There you go. With the finish, Ben Woodburn showing Ryan Lowe what he can do with a cool, calm finish as the ball fell to him just inside the penalty area and uh, he could well be one to watch for North End. Ben Woodburn makes it, Amber Bridge nil, Preston North End two. Lovely move as well from Preston down that right-hand side. Again, Bennett, brilliant, neat little one-two. Whiteman wins it back, and here's Ola Sunday now, the uh, American. Picks out Siri, the teenager. And now uh, Whiteman again. Hughes just Great calls ball. for it, and Whiteman picks him out pretty easily. Evans now keeping it well. Finding Coulton, who sends it forward Brilliant for ball. Mikey O'Neill. It's a classy finish from the teenager. That's what he's all about. Mikey O'Neill, the 18-year-old, puts North End 3-0 up here at Bamber Bridge. It was provided by Colton, finished by O'Neill. It could well be a glimpse of the future for Ryan Lowe's outfit this season. Just a brilliant goal. Great touch. Woodburn showing what he can do again. Certainly been a good showing from him so far. Siri is keen to get forward too, so is Bennett. The two of them linking up well now as Siri looks to pull it back for O'Neill again. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. Evans keeps it alive. Lindsay plays it back to Cornell. Well, Sunday. It's great play. Forward for O'Neill again, running on the shoulder of the last defender, through again, and it's just off the foot of the post, and the defender's able to head it away. So unlucky for Mikey O'Neill, but his movement was spot on there. Well, in the sunshine, the full-time whistle goes, and it is a win for Ryan Lowe's side by three goals to nil here at the Sir Tom Finney Stadium. All the damage done in the second half with the two Bens getting in on the act. Ben Whiteman with a penalty, Ben Woodburn with his first for the club, quickly followed up by another first for Mikey O'Neill. That made it 3-0 for Ryan Lowe's side and it was a comfortable uh, day at the office uh, in the end. Well, at the end of the game, North End have come out victorious by three goals to nil, and Greg Cunningham is going to uh, accept the Jerry Lawson Memorial Trophy here in honour of the former player and manager here at Bamber Bridge. This game played in his honour today.